What is going on everybody? Sir Lionheart here and we are here about to play the 16th mothership title of one of my favorite series of all time regardless of how a couple of games turned out. The Tell series is just something I will never forget. But we are about to play Tells of Viseria for the PC. It's also released for the PS4, but I was very fortunate enough for someone to pretty much go ahead and uh, give me access to Tells of Viseria for the PC. And I'm very grateful. Shout out to my man T-Rail the Horse. Only a couple of people will actually get that reference, but T-Rail the Horse out here supporting my... He's he carrying me, man. He's carrying me right now. Because he got me this game. He got me access to this game. And I very much appreciate it. I honestly was going to say, you know what? I'm going to hold out on Tales of Area Because this game actually came out earlier this year around January. I think uh, the 24th. Around the 24th. And Japan got it back in August of last year. And I was kind of skeptical. After playing Tales of Zestaria, don't, don't, don't. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed Tells of Zestaria for his gameplay. I even got the Platinum Trophy. I felt like there was a lot of potential to be had with Zestaria, but it just fell flat due to so many controversies behind Zestaria. But here I am, we're about to hop into Tells of Zestaria. Regardless of what Zestaria was, I've been hearing a lot of good things about Zestaria. So regardless of all that, let us not prolong this. We want to just get straight into this game. Let's go ahead and adjust the difficulty we're gonna put it on hard if it gets ridiculous i'll just lower the difficulty but i'll play it on hard because i am a veteran at these tales games okay okay trust me guys you're in for some shit okay all right you, you like seeing games get broken you like you like seeing me overcome like challenges well we'll we'll get through it let's hope the camera is way better than it was in zestera because the camera in zestera got you killed on multiple occasions especially in those short corridor dungeons all right the camera was just pretty uh uh ass <laughs> so right now uh, let's go ahead and lower the music by one raise the voices up to, to the max um input buffer window adjust the amount of time allowed for buffering commands Ooh, they said one one frame links or them uh five frame links <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure it's not one frame length, but, uh, we'll just keep it on short. Strategy, whoa, look at this, we got menu shortcut, menu shortcut, look at all these menu shortcuts. Oh, I can only use it with a keyboard, but I'm using a gamepad right now, so I can't really take advantage of, well, I guess I could still, because I can use the keyboard in the, uh, controller. I guess that's the, um, benefit of playing on, uh, a PC, you get so many more uh, optimization, you get customization options for like, uh, I guess, like shortcuts and whatnot. So that's like one of the bigger benefits of playing on PC. You have much more input on how you can customize certain things. Stereo surround. Let's go with surround. Yeah. No, I'll keep it on stereo. No, let's go with surround. Yeah, I heard the difference. Anyway, you guys might not hear the difference, but I, I hear the difference because I have surround headphones. Anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and start up this game. Yeah, start the game using these settings. Let's get it, boys and girls. We have the English dubs on, by the way. It's the Blood Moon. Oh no, all the enemies are respawning. Pillaging? Get burnt? Destroying villages? Are these pirates? They're already deep in this. Here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> you 
You'll be just fine with these. <laughs> Selica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? Uh -uh. <laughs> I'll come back for you once Selica is safe. <laughs> it's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. <laughs> And that day, Arthur was never heard from again. Well, who was that guy in the opening that looked just like Arthur? Shut up. Somebody just got killed. Frames per seconds. Werewolf. Yeah, girl, you ready to box? Little did we know, Tales of Berserra is actually the sequel to Bloody Roar Primal Fury. Oh, shit. Uh, so, ooh, two kicks into a punch? You got cancels? You didn't go self-destruct camp. Oh wait, wrong game. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, haunting and killing anyone they could. Where's the voice? I don't hear the voices. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. Uh, I don't hear your voice, lady. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. Whoa, you need to put on some clothes. And revenge upon one man. Why can't you jump out of there? You did that amazing ass shit, but you can't jump out of there? I don't hear... Oh, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, we got a problem. Where's these voices? Uh-uh, this, this is supposed to be voices, B. <laughs> PC Master Race, my dick. <laughs> Yo, where are these voices, B? Now I gotta redo that. The voices weren't playing. <laughs> PC Master Race. PC Master Race, what the fuck happened? The voice volume. I, maybe I shouldn't have did that. Uh, okay. I'm actually just gonna run that back, everybody. <laughs> PC, another, another reason why I feel like PC is over fucking rated for video games. I, I, I've had so many problems with PC games from Overwatch to the uh, Disgaea 2 to this game. Right off the bat, I, I don't even hear the voices. You know there's supposed to be voice acting in this game. Okay, let's see what happens. Werewolf about to get whooped up and ate. Does she eat those werewolves? How else does she eat? Now that I think about it. We got voices this time. We got that freaking Nero arm. Oh, I heard a, I heard a yell. 
Can we get voices? On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Christina V, is that you? What happened? What happened, girl? Luffy, time to wake up. She wants revenge for the guy that kicked her out of voice okay. acting. Somebody ended her voice acting career and that's why she's mad. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm, bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Read this fist in your mouth. <laughs> Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Alright, here we go. Gotta go get that money to buy the ibuprofen to heal the Breta. Alright. I don't have an Xbox controller, by the way. I don't know why I showed an Xbox controller when I'm you know playing on a you know ps4 controller but hey hey whatever it is what it is all right so we can move around it's super fluid it's 60 frames per second we got a tarnished silver coin a tarnished coin minted centuries ago the silver should fetch for a decent price yes mm -hmm. can i slip off can i oh nope i was wanting to see if i can jump off the ladder but again that's me just playing too much Zelda. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Zelda. This is like the only other game I've been playing when it's not Zelda or Disguise 2. Alright, so here we go. Let's go talk to this kid. Laffy, Laffy, Laffy set. Rest up, alright? Don't forget to take some gels with you. You know, you're careless sometimes. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. Keep warm, and no going outside. Sheesh, you don't trust me at all. It'll get dark if you don't leave soon. All right. So we got done talking to the kid, brother. Let's come out here. Mini map, a mini map showing your current surroundings is displayed in the upper left of the screen. You can use it to check locations of your next objective shops and more. Press X to display the area map. Unlock the mini map, which only displays your current surroundings. The area map shows the entire region you're currently in. Oh, you don't say. Current objective and event list. Press RB to display the current main story objective. Okay, additionally, the list, uh, the event list on the area map displays objectives and progress in both the main and story and side quest. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Tranquil, what? Tranquil, I already forgot where we gotta go. Damn, time to look up a guide. Nah. <laughs> anyway, oh, we got graves here. Somebody's dead. Two people's dead. Beside a grave marker for Arthur and Celica's unborn child. Wow. Stands the gravestones of Velvet's parents and her sister Celica. Oh wow. Scribed upon the tiny, uh, tiny, the tiny pillar are the following words. 
This little life will spread its wings and soar through the skies. How dare you. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. Anything over here? Just some stuff. What the hell is that? They got fruit? Is that fruit? Looks like fruit. It's just huge ass fruit and mushrooms and stuff. Vegetables. Alright, let's come over here. Alright. Let's go catch some prickle boars. Oh wait, this is actually going into this area. I thought it was going to lead me to... Oh, I guess this is the village. So where do I go fight the prickle boars, man? I'm just trying to fight, man. Brr! It just isn't warming up, is it? The leaves change earlier every year. I wonder what could be causing it. Oh wait, we got a skid, I think. Come to think of it, Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Selica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Oh, really? Talking to himself, was he? Now that you mention it, Arthur used to have the same habit, didn't he? Uh-oh. Maybe they see the Seraphim, because this is connected to Tales of Zestaria. But they said that you don't need to play Tales of Zestaria to know this game, to understand it. It's completely true. When I was heading back from the shop, I saw Lafayette talking to someone. But he was all alone. Isn't that right, Othello? Meow. Was Lafayette talking to Ceres? What was he doing at the store alone? Alright, we got some uh, sub-events over here. Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Selica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Was that Aaron Fitzgerald? How can you marry someone like that? How can you marry an idiot in this game, Aaron Fitzgerald? And you're being mean to Christina V? Come on, man. Hey, who's this kid? Hey, Velvet. Is Lafisset feeling better? Nope. No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, oh, too bad. Hmm. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafisette's illness sure is persistent. He's a playboy. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Lafi all by herself. So now I have to do my best, too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. Alright. Hunting beetles with girls. Hmm, at my age. I was throwing rocks at girls. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to throw rocks at them. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. Nah, we I get don't it. have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. I tell you what though, we ain't gonna buy no damn apple gels, no orange gels, because you know why? We hardcore. We don't need to do that. We, we're veterans. And we can steal stuff. Look at this. Why buy stuff when you can steal stuff from treasure chests? Three kinds of treasure chests can be found in various places in the world. Each contains different items. Copper chest, consumable, silver chest, standard. Gold chest, exceptional equipment. I wonder if you could save and then reload. 
right before you open up like exceptional equipment. I wonder if I need keys. I hope I don't need keys, dude. I'm gonna be triggered if I need keys again. Hey, what up? How you, Velvet? Doing a little shopping today? Just stocking up before heading out. A hunt is only as good as your supplies, after all. How's the baby doing, by the way? We're all quite healthy, thank you. Do you want to try changing the little one's diaper? It won't be long before you're doing it for real, you know. I don't think I'm ready for that just yet. I'm only 16. We got her age. She's 16. It's Velvet 16. I'm 16. But changing diapers I can do. Time passes quicker than you think, and you're a pretty girl. <laughs> I'm sure the boys in the village will pick up on that, and boys from out of town too. Oh, I better go hunt while there's still light. Talk to you later. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. All right, dear. Take care now you're here. Damn, I'm trying to get girls to have kids already. Hey, look at this. I don't need no damn. I don't need no damn silver ring or key. That was pretty silly for them to actually make you get like keys. And, no, 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 it was silly for them to lock, like, treasure chests with, like, oh, you need a silver key to open this, you need a gold key to open this, and then you backtrack and open these chests, and they were just absolutely, absolutely trash equipment. Half the time, no, 90% of the time when you would backtrack and try to get these chests, it was just pointless, because they were just absolute trash. The equipment that you would get was absolute trash. Like, that is the truth. All the equipment that you can get, you can make or just get better drops from enemies anyway. So like like exploring in Zestaria, I felt was absolutely worthless because half the time you would just find chests with trash equipment or something that really didn't matter. Half the time you would probably only look for like cool consumables such as like elixirs or uh, like hidden unique items that, you know, change the appearance. All right, we know about the save menu. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save my game right here. All right, so we just saved our game. And now, what we wanna do is come out over here. Oh, Morgana Woods, Crimson Sea of Trees. What's going on? What's popping over here? What's popping? I saw a group of dozens of demons real close to town. If they attack, we're done for. I think we should run now while we can. Run? To where? There are demons everywhere in Midgand. We have nothing to worry about. My brother Arthur can protect the ball. Arthur, huh? They say he used to be one of those exorcists who could control Malakim. And only exorcists Malachim. can defeat demons. Yeah, we've all heard the fairy tales. So of all the swindlers who pose as exorcists to con honest folk out of their gold. Hey! Arthur isn't like that! If he was a real exorcist, why didn't he protect Selica when the demons attacked? That's because... Luffy and I... we... Besides, Arthur is just an outsider who drifted into our village one day. We don't know anything about his past. Then you must think we're outsiders too. Our parents weren't from here either. Uh, back to business. We need to deal with these demons. You're right. <laughs> Cowardly We've got to youth. defend our village <laughs> ourselves. That's what it comes down to. Save the dreaming about exorcists and Malakim for when we're asleep. Wow, Malakim. Ah, uh, chip copper coin. A copper coin missing a fragment, barely what the metal it contains. Yes. Uh, anything worth getting over there? Doesn't look like it. Do I need to come down there? Hey, we got squirrels right there. We got rabbits. Hey, man, can I eat y'all? I mean, y'all just gonna sit there. Y'all ain't gonna run. I mean, I can pick y'all up and just take y'all home for some rabbit stew. I feel like eating rabbit stew. Let's talk to this lady. Out for a walk, Velvet? As if I'm off to go hunting in the woods, but I have a few errands to run first. Did you hear that the demons on Morgana Woods are multiplying? This is serious. Where are we supposed to run to now? Are you sure that's true? Seems to be. Word has it, they even got a few of the townsfolk. You be careful out there, alright? Thanks, I will. I can't very well leave Laffy to fend for himself, can I? Let's get this goodie. Copper coins. I guess this is like loot you can sell, maybe. I wonder if there's discoveries in this game. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. They'll probably point it out to me along the way. There's actually very little I know about this game. Surprisingly, I avoided so much talk about this game. I, I know people have been talking about, oh, it's, it's so much better than Zysteria and stuff, but I haven't ran into any spoilers, which is a surprise. 
since I wasn't even actively trying to avoid spoilers for this game. All right, here we go. The Demon Blight is a punishment sent to us by the Imperians for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Imperians? The four Imperians created the world. The one Imperian shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right, then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, Oh aren't my you? god, 16. I'm 16. <laughs> You're 13 now, right? Shut your old ass up, lady. Hey there, Velvet. Have you, have you heard the news? There are some folks going around pretending to be exorcists and tricking villagers out of their money. You say they can see things that are invisible to ordinary eyes. You've heard of that one before, right? Are you talking about Arthur? It's just a rumor I heard. These are trying times we live in, however you slice it. I'm just saying we can't be too careful, man. Yeah, man. Con artist, man. Hi, Velvet. Off the hunt. Pickle or pickle board? Prickle boards? Take care of them. The cold, them. The cold has them hungry, and that makes them meaner than ever. I'll be fine. You know me, hunting is what I do best. Can you show the village men a thing or two? Yeah, I'm playing on hard mode, too. I hear the beasts are falling to demon blight. Just like humans these days, so be careful out there. Beasts becoming demons? Gotcha, I'll be extra cautious. Thanks for the warning. Demons spelt with an A because we want to be different and unique. That's why they spell demons with an A. You know what? Now that I think about it, Final Fantasy XV did it too. They, spelled, they said demons, but not demons. Why? This area looks promising. Lingzi mushroom. Lingzi, a type of mushroom used in medicine. Sounds like it. Sounds like a Chinese freaking medicine. A Chinese herb or something. Or a Chinese mushroom. Only found in China. <laughs> uh, duh. There! Prickle boar! Yeah, bring that ass here, prickle boar. Battle tutorial, oh yeah, combo attacks can be performed based on the number of souls each character currently possesses. Alright. A, B, C. A. Ooh. Be cut up. By stunning, defeating, or inflicting status elements, you can get souls, allowing for more combos. So it's kind of like the SC meter. Ooh, get stunned, boy. Right, here goes! Actually, let's go to- yeah, I'm on semi-auto, it looks like. So, Tearing Thorn. Artless. So, Break Soul and Mystic Arts, we ain't got none of that. So, Rising Moon, Gouging Spin, Heart Free Bottle. Demi-Human. Crustacean. Oh, this one causes- Rising Moon causes paralysis. This one causes stun, 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 stun. All right, rising moon, rising moon, rising. What's what's stopping me from just spamming this? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, and you know what? In the demo I played, you could actually adjust any of these arts. So it's not like you follow a set path. You can adjust it to just use one thing if you want, or just use certain skill. Yeah. So it's like all, there must be a lot of arts. <laughs> Cause they gave you four buttons for attacks, my dude. I'm gonna just do rise and moon, rise and moon, rise and moon. Oh! Let's go. Catch these hands. Oh yeah. <laughs> So I gained a soul because of that. What happens if I evade an attack? What, he buffed himself? I wanna see what happens if I evade. 
Oh, he's not gonna do anything, so I'm just gonna loop him. Oh, he's paralyzed. <laughs> and I got a soul back. <laughs> and I looped his ass. <laughs> Get looped. Prickle board meat times two. Nice, delicious. Contacting with an enemy while on the field will initiate a battle. Victory is achieved by attacking your opponent. Yada, yada, yada. Alright, you can run toward the line at the edge of the battlefield to cause escape. Okay, however, you cannot flee from battlefields that have a red border. Okay. Yeah, that's how it's done. That's right, you just loop them to death. Loop they ass to death. The Brickleboar's future. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our Prickleboar meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkleboars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pigglebore? Yeah, Pigglebore! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Hey, Velvet, stop talking to yourself, please. It's very, actually, very distracting. Wait, who am I talking to right now, then? Apple gels. Look at all these apple gels I already got. Hey, where's that bo Hey, come here! Stop running off screen! <laughs> Ice use up the soul gauge. So, when the SD drops to zero, you can still attack, but you will be knocked back if you try to defend. Alright. Oh, okay. So you can still attack, but they can just defend. Use it. L1 to defend. Defending increase, decreases the damage from enemies, but also greatly depletes SG. And also resets the camera position. Oh yeah, you can move the camera with the right analog stick. Right, here goes! Arthur's second maxim. Know your foes and strike where they're weak. Loot time. Loot, 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 loot. Oh, how dare you! He's gonna be dead. Loot, 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 loot. Oh, he fell to the ground. <laughs> Flash kick. Flash kick loot. Just think if Gao can do that. A flash kick loot? Using arts when you have no SG comes with a number of detrimental effects. Combo speed is slower and combos are more easily broken. Attacks are more easily guarded and attacks that are guarded will be deflected leaving the attacker vulnerable. Status effects are less likely to be inflicted and in healing arts restore fury. Jeez. <laughs> Literally no point in you actually attacking half the time when, you, when you're out of SG. Stun enemies, however, cannot guard you, leaving you free to attack them regardless of your SG. So only when they're stunned is it, like, kind of, you know, beneficial to actually use more attacks when your uh, SG is out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game here and get ready to progress forward. Alright, so you just save the game. Let's keep going forward. Boo. Hey, prickle boy, catch me outside. Loop, loop. Oh, I ran out. Oh, yeah, when you dash, it, it like speeds up. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about the dash, um, actually, like, kind of resetting. It's like a it's like a dash cancel. Where it's like it goes to the next combo on the list. Get looped. You can't do nothing about it. Not bad. This should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Alright, cool. Looks like there's 
a little sub event right here. But if I can just loop him with that moonlight, why not? <laughs> it literally prevents them from doing anything else. This place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. So, uh... How does it get bigger? How does it get bigger? Someone please explain to that. Explain that to me. Hey, what was that? A silver coin. We'll take that. I guess we gotta get back to the village now. Let's go buy this uh, IV profile for your boy Lofty. Lofty set. Let's go. Hopefully HP isn't tied to like beating bosses. I really didn't like that mechanic in Zestaria. Uh oh. Cutscene. Wait. Where you go, girl? Hunted, are you there? You killing my fam like that? You, we can't let you run up on us like that. We gotta end you before you end us. Maxim three. Never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. You come the Iron Fist. She is the Iron Fist. Hitting arts focus on damage and attack range, but use more of your SG than martial arts. Searing edge is effective against beasts. Gain the advantage by exploiting your enemy's weak spots. Select the arts, yada, 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 arts. We're gonna go over here. They said equip searing edge. We're gonna go over here to equipment. Then we get something. We sure did get a resistance ring. Master skill, huh? Wait, we can learn skills? We can master skills in here? I don't know what that is. It looks different than, uh... Yeah, in this game, the skill system looks different. I'll, it, we'll get a tutorial for it. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Wait, come back to semi-auto? Oh, never mind. Damn it. Here we go. Searing Edge! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, let's go. Damn. Whoa, what the hell is that? We got a cube. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is that cube? Ooh, goddamn. Ooh. You ain't ready for this, boy. You, you ready to get loot, my boy? Oh, he didn't get loot. <laughs> uh oh. The boy's turned into a demon. Fireball! An exorcist art! Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. The thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. Them prickle boars got dealt with. <laughs> I'll drop the prickle boars off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Why does this dude look like right. Master Vaughn? One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. He looks like Van, dude. If you're attacked, run away. Tells of the abyss. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world. 
and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? You're a woman, no. Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. You have to be born with that gift. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche! Just the way she taught me. A quiche? That's how you say that word? I don't like I don't like the way this dude looks. That dude looks like the final boss of the game. <laughs> it looks like Van. Like real talk, he looks like Van. I'm not sure if the person who did the art is the same person that did uh, the art for Abyss. Here we go. Let's go back. Oh wait, we got a um, we got a. It's very easy to miss this, but. The skit is triangle, which is crazy. I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. They could have been sisters too. How they breed? Should have let them you, go. How dare you assume then, the prickle boars gender? Medicine, hunting <laughs> took care of that, and it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. Damn. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. How dare you sit there and assume? The animal's gender, Velvet. Oh my god, I'm boycotting Namco's gang. They they assume genders. This is just unreal, man. I, I, I played these games to have fun, not to get triggered. And I just got triggered. Damn. I can't ever enjoy a game anymore. Red hair Nico, grill. Here for groceries? Nico. Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Well, yeah, she had a deeper voice a than haul. I thought she'd have. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing Whoa. I'm a girl. Whoa. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. She sounds familiar. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When is it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? Like, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But... We're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Comb that nappy ass here, girl. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche! You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. Jeremy Lay? <laughs> Jeremy Lay? I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right. If I were a boy, I think she was, I'd uh, be in love. Makoto's Darn sister. Right. 
She was in Danganronpa another episode, and she's, uh, I think Azuma? Luffy must be starving by now. I better hurry home. Damn, it has been quite a while, huh? Hey, let's talk to this dog real quick. Orthy? Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know! They've been whimpering like this for an hour They now. are sensing well, something's wrong. They've always been a bit wimpy. Or the Shadow. other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. Rolo? They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <laughs> They're completely hopeless. <laughs> Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. Wait, wait, wait. They did they make a reference to tells of Exilia 2 with the Rolo the cat? That big boss ass cat. The f literally fat cat of Tells of uh Exilia 2. Wait, there was another one. There was a another event over here somewhere. With, with the girl. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. That's Komaru. because there's a yeah, that was her name, Komaru. The you should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting Frickleboars? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Luffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Luffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Well, it's too bad you'll never get to go on the road at all. It's too bad your dreams will never come true because you're probably going to die in the next 20 minutes. Ah! <laughs> come on, guys. It's a Japanese RPG. Why wouldn't a village get burnt down? Like, the, literally, the opening scene was literally villagers dying. You know what's gonna happen here, right? People about to die, stereotypical fashion, <laughs> in genre, in just, this is a Japanese RPG. People have to die within the first two hours. That is actually a law for a Japanese RPG. All right, let's go back to town, or let's go back to the house. Let's go back to the crib. See what's shaking with Lafayette. set. See what's shaking with everybody. Arthur. Celica, I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. Seven years, eh? And the baby you carried. So she was Trent, nine. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, mom, and dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the cape tomorrow. 